Good day, colleagues. Welcome to Natural Sciences and Technology. I'm going to be explaining some of the changes we did on the ATPs, 2023-2024 ATPs. Firstly, it's important to recognize that this is the same content as we have in CAPS because CAPS is policy. We've done some adjustments to content, increasing time, reducing time, shifting some content, as you can see in my explanation. The textbooks are still relevant, except, of course, for where some content has been omitted or where some textbooks from a previous grade need to be used in the next grade, depending on what circumstances are in that particular instance. There's a two weeks allocated for remediation, consolidation, and revision. So please make use of that. Life and living. So the way I will uh, explain this presentation is that we will go according to knowledge strands. So I'm going to present how a knowledge strand is mapped out across the phase, across the intermediate phase. So I'm going to start with grade four and go to grade five, only with life and living. And then I move on to the next uh, knowledge strand in that kind of way. So as you can see, these are the topics we have in the ATPs that you already have. And how, but how did we arrive at these topics? There the are reasons that colleagues put forward in making these decisions about reducing time and increasing time and retaining some topics as they are. So, but what you'll notice at this point is that for reduced time, structure of plants and animals, structure for animal shelters, those are the only topics that have reduced time. The rest of the topics in grade four, of course, have been retained just as they are. The, in grade five, we also have animal skeletons and skeletons and structures as the only topics with reduced time, and the rest has been retained as it is. And then in grade six, we reduced, uh, we removed, sorry, we removed some of the topics. The topics that belong to grade five are back to grade five, life cycles and food chains. Food processing originally belonged to grade six, but we removed that and increased time instead in nutrients in food and ecosystems and food webs. Nutrition has been retained as it is. Now it's important to recognize that in this knowledge strand, life and living, there's a lot of vocabulary for children. And in particular, in grade four, the children that are coming in for the first time and are welcomed by life and living they find it difficult to adjust with natural sciences because of the terminology that is used. This is one knowledge strand that has a lot of terminology, and this terminology is mainly Greek and Latin, or Old English, Old French, etc. And so some explanations and use of etymology is really advisable for this terminology to make children understand what it is we are talking about. Because most of the terms are strange terms that you don't ordinarily just find in an English dictionary and then they give you what you're looking for. So that's what you need to take note of with this. So in making these decisions about which topic is retained, reduced time, increased time. We, try, we tried our best to stick to the main ideas in life and living so that we can see progression in those main ideas for children to really have a good grasp of the knowledge strand. At this point, from, this, from life and living now, we will move on to Martin materials in terms in term two. 
But for now, let's take a break.